I just went to Target to get Josh an ugly Christmas sweater that I ordered online, even though we got one from Amazon too. But you just never know like what's gonna work out. And now I am at Jack in the Box getting curly fries because I'm craving something salty. But I have to wait till I get home to eat them because I have to wash my hands, obviously, because Josh and I actually take this pandemic seriously, unlike most people. Um, yeah. I was just talking for like 30 seconds and it wasn't even fucking recording. Anyways, I was saying I'm glad I'm home because when I got in the car, my um, head started hurting. AKA I have a headache now. My jaw's kind of hurting, but that could just be because I have like 20 cavities and you think I'm lying, but I'm fucking not. And then my chest is hurting and I have a heart problem. What's wrong with me? But now I'm um, eating fudgy covered cookies, mint, because I'm in a binge phase. Um, if you know, you know. What is that? Do you ever like notice things on your face? Like, sometimes I get dark stuff right here, like lines. Maybe my oxygen's low. Mm. 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 I don't know if it's this live, but my skin looks nice. It don't look like that in real life. Here we go. So this is the Christmas sweater I got him. Tell me why I think I hit record when I don't fucking hit record. I literally <laughs> just took a picture of myself and thought it was recording. I get my booster today, which I'm kind of nervous about. Um, and then I have to go to Pet Co. And then um, I have to go to AutoZone and get a new windshield wiper because the windshield wiper that I ordered from Amazon fucking broke off while I was driving in the rain the other day. I just got to CVS. I feel like I'm gonna shit myself because my anxiety is through the roof. And people with anxiety know what I'm talking about. People who don't experience severe anxiety, I envy you. Um, literally have the anxiety shits right before I left so I couldn't even do an errand before I had to come here. It's just a whole thing. I'm getting my booster. I feel like trash right now because of my anxiety. And I'm just so nervous because of the myocarditis because I have a heart problem. So I just get in my head about it. Anyways, I gotta get the booster. Josh is getting his in a couple of days because he's not due yet. I'm like two weeks overdue, supposedly, blah, 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 anyways. So I'm gonna go in and get jabbed, as they call it in Norwich, at least. A jab. Ugh. Why doesn't this record when I press record? I'm done. Um, I just got my booster, I'm fine. Um, I bought some shit because Josh has been taking care of his curls and like growing his hair out. He's been using the sun bum conditioner. He just started using that and he wanted me to get him the sun bum shampoo. So we're going with that. Oh, thank God. I literally, I was pretty sure I had looked before, but it's vegan. So, Woo! and then I, I used a DIY lightener with um, baking soda and like peroxide and something else. And it lightened my roots pretty well, but the black in my hair was like barely even phased. It said, nah, bitch, we're hanging out still. So I got, I mean, there's some, I don't know. I got like five different colors in my hair right now, but I got this and I'm scared because I've only ever had my hair bleached at home one time. And it was by Josh's mom like 10 or 11 years ago. And she was only used to doing it on boys. Like when the kids were younger, the boys were younger. So, um, my hair's in my freaking hair, in my face, I mean. So she did it on my roots first, not realizing, you know, you gotta do the ends first because you, when you have long hair and it burnt my scalp. So I'm fucking kind of terrified to do it again, but we'll see what happens. I don't know. As long as it's out of my face right now. I gotta go to Petco to get Cherry some new food. And I might go to Sprouts or a different grocery store because I've been craving mushrooms. I want some mushrooms boiled <laughs> with just bouillon and like some zucchini noodles like i'm a fat ass but i still crave healthy stuff but yeah that's what i'm doing right now say goodbye cvs thank you for the job it was like a five minute thing it didn't even take very long you made it bitches 
I don't even know if you'll be able to hear me, but I, I mean, my mental health's a little bit better than it was like a month or two ago, like I was saying, but my anger, um, <laughs> I just went to AutoZone and so I ordered a windshield wiper for my Toyota Yaris. It's got one large wiper on the front. I ordered it off Amazon, a rain -X. It was like 30 bucks. It's a good brand, whatever. It had good reviews, except one review said that when they were driving, it like flew off while they were driving. And um, I was like, that's not real, but it's real because it fucking happened to me. So I took it to AutoZone. Like I said, they were the ones who put it on. The first time they put it on, they didn't even take the little plastic thing off. And I didn't realize because like I, my stepdad had taken it for me. So they didn't work the first time technically. And then he went back and they, um, ah, I hope you stay up. They um, took the thing off. So then I went in there and there was a fuck, mm, there was a girl there. And I thought, cool, like girl power type of thing. Usually girls are a little bit nicer to girls. Although Josh and I were just having this discussion. Men are fucking rude to women and women are rude to women usually. I try and build women up. This woman was a bitch. She um, wasn't very helpful. And then she was like, yeah, they're in aisle two. Didn't even like help me go look or anything. Like I get it, maybe you don't wanna help me look. That wasn't even the worst part. Then she comes out, she's like, did you find it? And then I explained to her again, I was like, yeah, but I ordered a 28 inch already. That's what fell off. So I don't really know what to do because you guys were the one that put it on. So I'm not sure like if it would even be broken or like what it is, no help. She just basically kind of walks away from me. Like, are you kidding me? Don't fucking come ask if I found it. Obviously I found the 28 inch wiper blades. I'm not that fucking stupid. Like, so I just left. I like peeled out of that parking lot. I was so fucking livid. So then I went down the street. My mom was like, why don't you go to O'Reilly's? And I was like, you know what, bitch? That's a good idea. So I went to O'Reilly's cause on, the maps it had a higher star rating like and that's usually customer service wise so i went to o'reilly's guy was a fucking angel right when i walked in he was like how can i help you blah blah he was like pull your car out let's take a look at it and he was like i told him i was like yeah i was just at auto zone and i came here my mom reminded me you guys were down the street and he's all we get that all the time how they're just rude to the like guests i think i'm out of space I don't even know where this left off. Anyways, the fucking O'Reilly's guy was super nice and he put it back on and said he would use the one I already had because it, it he was like, if they didn't clip it on correctly, which I'm going to assume they probably fucking didn't because AutoZone can suck my And now I'm at Sprouts for my mushrooms and to pee. Oh. Yeah, that's Titanic music. I'm excited. I'm home now. Got my booster. And I swear I've had something in my eye for the last 12 hours. Made myself a second cup of coffee for the day because fuck my heart problem. If you know me in real life, you know I cry about how tired I am all the time. That was weird. But then when I drink coffee, I usually have a lot of heart palpitations. Because I'm not supposed to have caffeine. Anyways. This is half calf. I'm trying to be semi safe, but I got these stevia liquid drops, so boop. I hope that made that in because I wasn't looking. And then I've been using this. It's okay. I put barely any in my coffee. Like people who put a shit ton of stuff in their coffee, it like grosses me out. I drink my coffee black a lot of the time too. So, oh, I tried the new food with cherry. I did like the 25% to 75% ratio. She's just, oh. <laughs> that's Seb, not cherry. She ate like barely any of it. So I don't know if she likes it, but she better because the brand we buy isn't cheap. <sighs> what an exciting life I lead. <laughs> oh, at Sprouts, I got some cool ass fucking like stir fry things. So I'm excited for that. And I got my mushrooms. We don't chug vodka anymore, we chug water. Can I also please just show you how spoiled my cats are? <laughs> Cherry is my baby. 
and she lays down right here. She lays next to me when I pull the bed out, but this is her spot. And then she gets tuckies. We call them tuckies, huh, baby? You want the tacos? Yeah? Mwah. This pretty girl, you're not feeling too good lately, huh? It's okay. Yeah, baby. Yeah. There go pretty girl. Just good. But look at how fucking stinking cute she is. I love her so much. Please don't bite me. She's sassy. Or she's spicy. We like to call her spicy. She bit my scalp the other day. But we got past that. I love you. Boop. <laughs> she smells the air. The window's open. What do you smell? What are you smelling? I don't smell anything. You planning the world domination? Sub also gets tucked in. Huh. <laughs> Can I wake you up? <laughs> so this is the part of the day where Josh is supposed to be going on lunch soon. He just tried to take like a 45 minute nap before he went to lunch. Because the coffee never helps. <laughs> I can actually... I could go to sleep after drinking coffee or Mountain Dew or anything. So caffeine fucks my heart up, but it also doesn't keep me up, so. Tell me why. Tell me why. Okay, this gremlin has crawled out of the bed. See where she sleeps? There she is. And uh, I just wanted to show everyone. I don't know why I say everyone. I think this is just kind of like video journaling for me, to be honest. And sometimes I make myself laugh. I'm obsessed with these. I ordered a six pack off Amazon after I tasted them once. Excuse me? Excuse me? Excuse me? You know better. Yes, we use hissing slash Slytherin <laughs> noises to discipline. But back to what I was saying. I love tempura from sushi places. It's terrible for you. But these are like little seaweed snicks. Oh, sorry. Josh and I say snicks instead of snacks. But <laughs> these are like little seaweed snicks. A little tempura batter on them. It's fucking good. And it's 270 calories for the whole bag. Because <laughs> we don't mess around with snicks in this household. I eat everything. Look at that. Like, you can't go wrong. And I'm a texture person, and when I want the crunch, listen. What? Who made these? Nora. Thank you.